Mecca's guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maka here, and today we're playing Scorn, a new atmospheric horror puzzle game recently added to Xbox Game Pass. Now, as you play through this game, if you're really good at puzzles, you can get it done in as little as five hours, or you can take on the longer end around eight hours, and there are 12 total achievements for the thousand gamer score. Now, 10 of those achievements you will earn just naturally by playing the game, and there's only one or two missable achievements depending on how you classify them, and luckily, both of them take place right at the beginning of the game. They are named 001 and 002. Let me show you how to grab both of them quite quickly. So within the first five minutes of the game, you'll unlock the key arm thing, and that lets you gain access into the large hall with the pillar in the middle. If you take the first door to the right, you'll find an elevator, which takes you to the top. And if you follow the path, you'll end up on a platform near the top middle. And here you'll have to do the sliding puzzle. Now, if you are maybe a little dense like me, this could take you upwards of 30 minutes on your first try. And one of the reasons is because once you get yourself in a bad situation, you can't actually uh, reset the puzzle but it is actually pretty easy. There are two of these little egg things that have like a light in them. I believe they are scorns and you wanna be able to kind of pick them out with the little machine. And I'm gonna speed this up to about two times speed. You can try to follow each of my moves individually, although I wouldn't recommend it. Generally, what you wanna do is you wanna get all of the singular pieces off to the left and then all of the kind of double pieces off to the right. Once you have a little bit of separation, you'll be able to move the double scorn kind of into the middle and then slide it down. Here you kind of unlock all of the flexibility you need. And what you wanna do is you wanna use all of your singular pieces to basically just fill up all of the gaps and then take the double pieces and put them wherever they can fit and you'll eventually have enough room to clear the entire left side, which is basically our goal. But the key factor is to make sure that the double scorn is set right where it is in the middle. That way you can move pieces from both sides. And then eventually you will finish this sliding puzzle and you'll be able to take the scorn down the lift and then meet it at the bottom. So once you're done this, take the elevator back and go to the large pillar room. Once in the main room at the bottom, you'll wanna go across the area and here you'll be able to find a machine where the scorn has been lowered to. So hop on the pedestal just behind the cart and then here you'll be able to raise the hook up and then hook the scorn down and into the chair. The chair is connected to a little bit of a cart that we can now push on a track. So this is basically just setting up the puzzle as it is intended and then we'll be able to basically choose between the two achievements 001 or 002 i'll show you how to do them both but you can also just kind of reload the checkpoint and get them both out of the way and then just beat the game and not worry about missing anything once the scorn is placed into the cart move it forward and you just move it forward until it locks into the second station which is about a quarter of the circle away right here in front of me once it locks into the station, get off the cart and go up to the pedestal. And then you can interact with the pedestal in order to transform the scorn a little bit more. We are basically preparing it for the extraction that we are going to be doing. For 001, the achievement is called extraction. And for 002, the achievement is called hand in hand. There's only three possible things you can do in this area. One of them is achievement one, one of them is achievement two, and the third one is you meet a dead end and you just have to keep doing the puzzle until you figure it out. But once you have the scorn completely prepped, now is where you can decide which achievement to get. We're gonna go for 001 first. Go up the spiral staircase in the middle pillar and then interact with the little pedestal at the top. Here you'll see an overhead map of the entire area 
And for 001, you'll want to interact with both of the tracks at the bottom. The bottom left corner, make sure it adds into the loop. And the bottom right corner, make sure it also goes into the loop. You can now back out and go back down to the cart. And here you'll want to push the cart down the track all the way to the end. And at the end, you'll be able to pick out the scorn and then basically crack the shell with a saw and take out the entire body. This will unlock the 001 extraction achievement. And once that unlocks, I'll show you what to do next. All right, so once you interact here, you will unlock the 001 achievement. If you want, you can continue the level and beat the entire game and then do the 002 achievement last. Or what I would recommend is pause the game, press load and reload your last save. This will unfortunately bring you back to when you first entered the room. That means you will need to redo the sliding puzzle. You will need to take the scorn to station one and two to prep it but eventually this will culminate in you going back up the pillar and choosing different tracks. Instead of choosing the bottom left and bottom right track, only connect the bottom left track. Leave the bottom right track as it is, and now go back down and push the cart to the end of the track. Now, because you've already pretty much done this, I'm going to fast forward a little bit and uh, speed things up so you don't have to watch through the entire thing. But through the first intersection, you'll go through it. And instead of continuing along the circle, you will go through the door where we took the elevator here. Once you park the cart, you can interact with the pedestal. This will allow you to take the crane arm, pick up the scorn and place it in the pod. Once it is placed in the pod, you can switch to the other little pedestal here. It will basically scoop the scorn out of the shell. As far as I understand, I don't know. There's a lot of things happening in this game that I'm not quite sure I understand from a uh, biological standpoint. But once you scooped out, there will be an arm left over. You can walk up, pick up the arm, and you will get the 002 hand in hand secret achievement. Both of these are also worth a hundred gamer score, which is pretty awesome. And at this point, if you have 001 and 002 unlocked, you can basically just exit this puzzle by taking the arm to the end of the room, interacting with the door to open it and getting access to the next room. But you can now just play the game at your own pace for the next four to seven hours and you'll just have the thousand gamer score once you reach the end of the game, which I think is pretty cool. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. A super special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. And hopefully I see you soon. Peace.